Hello there everybody and welcome back to yet another Zombie Survivors. Today we're going to jump in and we're going to go for the Engineer again as our leader. And just to clarify, it reduces the skill cooldown by 2.5%. And we need about 3,000 more Zombies uh, with him as the leader to unlock his next weapons. And we're just going to go with the Isolated City, I rate. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be good. I think we'll be able to survive the night with this one, so we'll get the achievement for that as well as unlocking uh, rank one. So I don't have any problems with that. But that's the goal. Surprisingly, we also haven't survived the night with the SWAT uh, guy as the uh, leader. So we're going to have to do that. I'm looking forward to getting the medic and the ghost unlocked. I want to try them. They sound quite curious. Well, they sound interestingly enough, so I'm curious about them. Uh, I'm just going for the full weapon upgrade at this point. I'm not going to play around with the abilities yet. I'm going to make sure we can do as much damage as we can and we get the Tesla uh, gun up and running. While we have the uh, option, or limited options, should I say, because we don't have another survivor. There is an achievement for, I think, surviving the night without any survivors or any extra team members, which I think is pretty cool. I don't think we're at a point where we want to try that until we have, like, tier 3 weapons unlocked or something like that. Can I grab this? Can someone hit me, please? <laughs> there you go. Because I believe we need to collect more of those for the medic, so I am going to try and do that when I can. All right. SOS signal detected. Let's head on over there. Got to decide who we're going to go with. I definitely think we want to grab the tank. Because his abilities are pretty good with the landmines. And um, the shotgun's always pretty handy. Um, Whose other abilities are pretty good? The SWAT's not bad we'll go with just swap the huntress i'm not particularly keen on the huntress i like the idea of her but i don't know we'll go for weapon upgrades before abilities mainly because we know the swat's got a really good um weapon upgrade and if we wanted to we could always pick the sniper rifle this time I'm going to go with a compass for the XP upgrade. Uh, pistol again. I do feel like I should get electrocution unlocked on the engineer though. Oh, what am I doing? I should really collect the XP. As you can see, overcharge the battery as you carry so you get damage increase. Uh, it seems like a really good shout. But at the same time, also just upgrading your weapons is good. Alright, nothing on the map at the moment that we need to deal with. No bosses, no SOSs or upgrades. Uh, yeah, keep going for the SMG upgrades now. There we go, just picking up as much of that XP as we can. Going to sneak on over there. Nice. The SMG is just too good. Alright. So we said tank. The first three are just such a good combination. So I'm looking forward to unlocking a few more characters so we can have uh, a bit more of a variety because I feel like the medic could be very good with the tank and the swap. Um, I also feel like ghost might be good with the engineer just from taking a guess is essentially it uh, so we've got the tesla gun fully upgraded i think or there might be one more upgrade i keep forgetting i think it's fully upgraded now uh got distracted we want to come over here maybe we can get a compass again just to get even more xp right at the start here seem to be doing very well on damage 
Healing bonuses, lifesteal chance. I'm gonna re-roll here. There's the compass. I do like the lifesteal, and I wanted to try the um, having an increase of the lifesteal value. I think that could be very good. Um, but early XP, considering it's limited to three, I think that's worth grabbing. I'm going to get in here and get all these, there you go, bonuses. We have no abilities unlocked at the moment. And that's fine. Like I said, we're just going mad with the upgrades. I'm not concerned about surviving the night. Like, I think we'll get through there fairly easily. Uh, you know what, let's... We really should focus on the SMG upgrade. If we have a choice. Well, I mean, we'll grab that as well. Not enough to give us the level up. Not even enough to give us, a, like, a third of a level. All right. Lots of monies. Oof, this one's out of the way, isn't it? Uh, SMG again. Uh, let's get the assault rifle. At least level one unlocked. And now we'll focus on getting the tank's weapon unlocked. Look at this. I haven't found our first elite yet. Super speed. From, from one side of the map to the other. I'm going to take the potato. And we got an achievement for it, so... I don't know what it's going to... If it's going to give us anything to unlock, but... I feel like if we're going to take the potato, this is going to be the run to take it. Who knows? Maybe it magically gives us something. You never know. Okay. I'm going to go with the electric turret now. I'm going to at least try and get some of our abilities up and running. I'm obviously going to pick weapon upgrades where they seem appropriate, like the tank at the moment. The tank is... Wow, you got absolutely wrecked. Alright. Uh, you know what, I'm going to take the assault rifle. Because the thing is, once we get that fully leveled up, it's not going to come... It's not going to become an option, so... It makes sense to do it. That over, like, one landmine, I think, has more benefit. Alright. Give us the last compass, please. There's the last compass. Perfect. Perfect. We feel like we're not going to unlock the ghost this time around, though. Uh, here, so for example, upgrading that doesn't seem as beneficial as perhaps getting the helicopter strike. So I think we pick that. Shotgun, we definitely take that. So that we can level that one up next time or evolve it or oops did i forget to pick you up must have done there you go now we got the pump action shotgun nice haven't even seen a lot of health kits drop either oh there's one there we will get the medic eventually right I'm just keeping myself on slightly below full health so we can pick up these med kits whenever we see fit. Because we haven't got any life steal, so we're in a fine spot. Just to take a little bit of poison damage. There we go. You gotta like the killing frenzies. Cool. Juicy, juicy XP. Uh, so again here, kind of go for the minefield. That's always fun. 
Oh, look at that. SOS signal detected in the complete opposite direction. There we go. Just waiting for that poison cloud to get rid of. Uh, picking up money drops gives you a 3% magnet range. I don't really like any of these, I'll be honest with you. Let's go with a frying pan. It's nice and standard. She got munched. She got absolutely annihilated. You'd love to see it. All right. Uh, definitely go for the shotgun, since that's the last weapon upgrade that we really need. I mean, last weapon upgrade, I mean, like, he is the last one to have his weapon upgraded. Oh, no, he's not. The assault rifle. Okay, now he is the last one that needs his weapon upgraded. There we go. And then soon we can just focus on abilities. The witch never managed to spawn her bats. All right, let's stand in the poison quickly. Grab this heart. Oh, magnets. Nice. Pump action shotgun. Not enough for another level. Dang. Okay. Eight minutes in. Feeling pretty confident right now. Uh, hmm. I'm not really worried. I'll just grab grenades. I mean, I'm happy to stand in there, like I said, so if we see some health, we can get grab it. Like that. Let's grab the SOS first. Actually, let's ruin this guy's life. There you go. Do we want movement speed? Like, is that even a thing that we want? Just trying to think of up what kind of upgrades we need. Get electrocution now. So we're just missing one more ability for the tank. There you go. You know what? Life still wouldn't be bad. Just to keep us on top of things. I mean, axe. More damage is good damage. Unless someone's got reflect, then you really don't want to. <laughs> you don't want more damage. All right. Good amount of XP. Nice. Pump action shotgun is maxed out. So that's going to evolve now, I believe. Alright. I don't like this guy. I don't trust his uh, attack patterns. Okay, I'm getting distracted by XP. Come on, let's go this way. Oh good, there's the SOS and the... Uh, item upgrades over there. Unlock the second rank for the engineer, perfect. Uh, saw blade, that's the one that we needed to oh, unlock. Tell you what, I don't know what's hitting me. I feel like it might be the ranged guys, but at the same time, just don't. <laughs> this is essentially it. Uh, instantly reload your weapons when you take damage. Nah, grab a burger. Only looking for lifesteal and damage at this point. I can't remember if he had something else. He did have something else. Hmm. I want to wait. I want to see if we can get a different weapon for him. 
Because on the first tier, they do have two different weapons, right? If I'm not mistaken, I don't think one of them had one. All right, we need to be a little bit more careful now. We're being a little bit greedy. Oh, it's, it's probably the projectiles that are hitting us and we're not paying attention because I'm just running around collecting XP wherever I can. It's uh, highly unlikely I'm looking for projectiles. Alright, killing frenzy. Alright, give me lifesteal, please. Weapon fire rate and move speed up, sure. I feel like since we've got it anyway, we might as well get it to three. So it doesn't become an option anymore. Seems like a smart idea. Uh, rocket launcher, sure. We haven't tried this one before, so... Why not? There's enough chaos as it is. I'd like to see more... health drops. Alright, helicopter strike. Let's start with upgrading all of these. Where we see fit. Magnet, nice. Yep. Magazine size increases. Perfect. Nice. It's definitely the projectiles that are getting us. Although saying that, I don't think that was a projectile that just got us now. Alright. Another magnet. Sure. Hey, we unlocked the medic. Perfect. That's something that we can have a nice playthrough with next time. The medic, the tank, and maybe the engineer. Uh, I'm going to go with the luck. Because I do want extra drops here, whether it's going to be money or health drops, for example. That's always going to be nice. Okay, I think we got all the weapon upgrades we needed, so let's focus on helicopter strike. Try to get that out of the way. Nice. Only got about six more minutes that we need to survive. We might actually get the ghost unlocked as well, actually, because we've been going through and killing quite a few little elites, bosses, whatever they are. I think they're elites. Each game calls them something different, so it all merges into one. Alright, this is feeling good. I tell you what, never sleep on luck. I think I've said this in every single game this month. Don't sleep on luck. Actually, it's November. Like, it's only been a few days of the month. Uh, yeah, helicopter strike. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, it's projectiles. We hate projectiles. All right. Get rid of you. Ooh. Just go weapon crit chance and crit damage. I'm not interested in increasing my max health. I kind of just don't want to lose a lot of health. Because we got like 1400 already. There you go. What's it going to give us? I do like electrocution. I think it's a very good perk. Yep. 
Yeah, we got to the point where we're probably not going to be seeing a lot of upgrades. Considering it's taken a little while to get a uh, level up. There we go. Just grabbing as much money as we can at this point. We're up to tier 14 on our money situation. Which is pretty good. We're nearly at 15. There we go. With only four minutes left to survive. All right, there's another magnet there. We can make our way over and grab it. Grab the final tier of the burger. Magnet's good because it also picks up the money. Kind of makes sense that it doesn't pick up all of these kind of upgrades. The killing frenzy and the speeds and stuff like that. That would be a little bit too strong. <laughs> yeah, we want to get rid of you. Okay, that was not enough to get the ghost unlocked. Which I think is fine because we got the medic to go with next time. Perfect. All right, let's get electrocution fully unlocked. Wonder if you can get to the point where all of your items are just fully upgraded and there's nothing else for you to do. I mean, I'm definitely giving it a go, I'm trying to get as much of this as we can. But we're. Yeah, we're definitely not going to hit it considering the amount of level 1 abilities we got right now. Okay. Uh, go for the minefield, sure. Gonna run straight over here. Not even worried about taking damage. Weapon crit chance... Grab him. Ooh, we got a magnet. Okay, we're waiting for the SOS. So far, so good. We got all of our buffs, which is purely from that uh, teddy bear that gave us the luck. Okay, SOS is this way. Trying to get as many of these up upgrades as possible. Okay. Two elites over here. This silly elite as well. Is that going to be enough? No, it wasn't enough for the ghost either. Come on. There we go. Unlock the ghost. Okay, we're going to have to decide which one we want to play next time. Alright, we got one more minute to survive. We got elites coming out of everywhere at this point. Let's get rid of you. All right, let's grab you. What are we going to get? No, I'll go with a vampire survivor. Get a little bit of lifesteal, shall we? <laughs> the lifesteal just does not seem to want to trigger. Okay, minefield, magnet. There's a lot going on. Said literally just running for the SOS.
Nice. Reach level 50? We haven't done that yet. Pretty darn good. <laughs> Life is looking quite bad, but I think we're done now. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Survive the night with the engineer as the team leader. Perfect. Who did the most amount of damage? I wonder. Is it the SWAT with the assault rifle? It would be. No, I like it. Oh, nice. Why do you pick that? Trust me, I'm an engineer. We unlocked the blaster, the laser, the medic, and the ghost. Okay, let's look at training quickly. Uh, you get a chance of dodging. Kind of just want to unlock full luck. Increase pickup range. Do you feel like getting the basic ones is actually really good? We're going to get to a point where we are maxing everything out, but these are costing five at once. These cost three. Um... No, I'll go with the dodge. I'll go with weapons, deal more damage, and then we have four points. Was there anything that actually took four? You take four. You know what? I'll go dodge. Sure. Um, achievements. So, potato. Didn't give us anything. All right. <laughs> Death from above. Reach team level 50 in a current run. That didn't give us anything. Exactly two survivors. You get a chocolate box. Get a wooden stick. All right, there's lots of stuff, actually. Fend off a mummy tag. Respect your mercenaries. I don't actually know how to do that. Or is that just changing? Is that just changing this? <laughs> sure. Uh, why not? More experience, more weapons, uh, all of you, all of you, so all of you, which one did I do too much of? Uh, and then two points, what do we want to do two points in? That's 11, wow. One of you and one of you, sure. Uh, and then let's have a look here quickly. So we need to eventually get those guys up. So the ghost here, leader perk has 2.5% chance of dodging incoming damage. Increase all healing bonuses by 25%. Range support, low damage, strong healing. Okay. So I wonder if we go for something like the medic, the tank, and the engineer. Hmm. I do think the medic and the tank would be nice together. And then the engineer maybe for the next time around. All right. That was a good day. So with that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.